I've been on a quest to find an affordable Walmart bike that will actually survive a trail. I've had a couple of crap bikes, just not going to work out at all. One that had potential, but due to a couple of shortcomings, just doesn't make it. In the meantime, one of my friends has been riding this $31 Pacific we got at Kmart. That was until he crashed it. Now he's looking for a new bike. Well, that may have worked out well, because the day he crashed it, this arrived. This is the Schwinn Boundary. It's a 29er bicycle that's a mountain bike. It actually kind of lives up to the title, at least in the initial impressions. It's only $199. So did I find a hidden gem at Walmart? Let's unbox it and find out. Right away, as soon as we opened the box, we knew that this bike was a step above anything that we had seen thus far from Walmart. $199 isn't going to get you a $1,000 bicycle. But in this case, it may get you a mountain bike that actually has quality enough components that you can actually ride it on a trail. From the handlebars to the Shimano trigger shifters that are the exact same model that are on my Trek DS, a $500 bicycle. I had aluminum brake levers, something you'd normally don't see on the $199 and below bicycles. Even had fancy graphics on the handlebar. The grips are very similar to the grips that are on my Trek DS, just not Bontrager branded. The frame is aluminum. It's not super heavy, but it's not super light, but it seems to be well made. The front suspension has about 60 millimeters of travel and grease seals that actually work. While the forks didn't have any name branding on them, just Schwinn, they were immune to the flex that we've seen on a lot of the cheap Walmart bikes. This had no more or less flex than the flex on my Trek DS or my Trek 820. The 160 millimeter front disc brakes and caliper, which is painted green by the way, do not have any branding on them, but they seem to be of okay quality. The alloy front rims are Schwinn branded and they're mated up to 29 by 2.25 inch knobby tires that seem to work well on the trail in our first trail venture with this bicycle. The main frame has decent welds for a Kmart bike and it has a really cool metallic yet matte paint finish. Boundary branding on the top tube Schwinn on the lower tube, which is kind of a rectangle. Very unique design. I've seen it on a couple of other bicycles. Also has bottle cage mounts. The frame also has a lifetime warranty. That's common on many bikes these days. Has a quick release seat stem clamp, and the seat stem has green trim that matches the front calipers and all the other graphics. The saddle looked okay. David said it was actually pretty comfortable. The crank set, as is expected of Durrell bicycles, Void of any technical details, but it did look to be of okay manufacture. I was pleasantly surprised, though, to see that it was mated to Shimano crank arms. Also, flat Schwinn branded nylon pedals. Another generic front derailleur. Don't know what it is with derail and these generic front derailleurs, but at least this one worked. The chain and the cassette, nothing fancy, but at least they do work. These have held up over multiple days and a couple of trail rides, one of which was two hours long. The rear derailleur, Shimano Tourney, same one on my Trek DS and Trek 820. The chainstay, Shimano Graphics, but it did have a protective sticker that actually gave some gloss to this paint, made it look like a bass boat. The seat stay featured Schwinn branding. I noticed also that it was void of any rack mounts of any kind. Rear braking, the same 160 millimeter rotors and the same generic but coolly painted green calipers. While the bike did have a kickstand, it wasn't what you would expect for a Walmart bike. This was a little bit of a shock. All in all, I think we found a hidden gem in the Walmart bike lineup. $199 can get you a mountain bike that most people are gonna be able to ride on the trail. I'm not gonna do six foot drops on it, but this thing did survive two hours on a trail that broke a Pacific in 10 seconds. A quick call to the wife and $200 later, Dave drove off with this bike. He's been riding it ever since. There you have it. It is possible to spend $200 at Walmart on a mountain bike that actually works and can survive a trail, at least for the average rider. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. We'll have more videos coming on this bike and many others. Have a great day and ride safe.